Hi guys, it's Hany here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna make uh, 3D Christmas stockings. For this tutorial, I uh, ended up using a template. If you have a large stocking cutter, you can uh, use that instead. To make 3D stockings, we need three cookies. First, I'm gonna use a thickness that is about quarter inch thick. And we're gonna roll this out between two pieces of parchment I'm using my sugar cookie dough recipe. You can find the recipe link is posted down below in the description area. If you have a large cookie cutter, by all means, please use it. I don't have a large uh, cutter for this project, so I ended up using a template. Now I'm cutting out front and the back of the 3D stockings and then we have to cut out a center. For the center I'm gonna be using slightly thicker guides because we want the center to be thick enough so we can stick something inside like a little little cookie or maybe you can put little candies in there. So as you see my guides are slightly thicker and then we're gonna cut out the center. You can also do this after cookies are baked. I decided to do it before they were baked. So these two are gonna stay the same and then using a cutter we're gonna cut out a little piece of the dough from the center of this cookie. If you're looking for these small cutters, you can find a link where to get them down below. I really love using them. They are super, super nice. They have sharp edges and they can be used for fondant as well. Now we're gonna bake this and then we have to let it cool completely. Try not to move, especially the center piece before it cools completely because you're risking breaking the sides. Now onto the decorating. So we can start by outlining and flooding with red royal icing. I'm gonna show you two designs how you can decorate these. Now this is uh, what's called wet on wet technique, if you're not familiar with this. I'm piping uh, directly onto the red icing. Now I'm piping the jingle bells. To make the jingle bells, I'm using icing that is slightly thicker, something like 20 seconds or so, so you don't risk having the cave-ins. To finish the jingle bells, I'm using black edible marker. And now we can put this together. So we're gonna glue all of the pieces together so it can stand on its own. Start by gluing the middle section to the bottom section.
You're gonna have to let this dry for a couple hours just so the 3D stockings can stand on its own. Now we are on to the second design. For the second design I'm also using red icing as my base, outlining and flooding the bottom section. Now I'm going to do wet on wet, applying white lines and then green lines. Now take the needle tool and run it through the lines, alternating the directions, creating this beautiful pattern. This is a really popular technique because it only takes uh, very little time to do and it's very effective. Now using edible marker, you can write a name directly on top of the white icing. You have to make sure that the icing is dry before you write on it. And then we can finish with the border. I'm going to also add some sending sugar for some sparkle. And we're gonna finish with the candy cane cookie because I'm gonna put a candy cane cookie inside of the stockings. So you wanna start by outlining it with red royal icing and then we're gonna divide it into sections. Now fill every other section with red. And now we can fill remaining sections with white royal icing. While white is still wet, take some red and pipe the line directly onto the wet icing. And that's how you can make these adorable 3D stacking cookies. You can just simply put a cookie inside. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Don't forget to check out my other Christmas tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.